I'm going to show you now how to use a pH meter. So with the probe, it must always stay in the liquid, otherwise it will dry out and it will break. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to calibrate a pH meter because it's important to make sure it's taking the correct readings. So you take your probe, this is clean water here, give it a good clean off first and dry the excess off because you don't want to introduce that into your sample. You then take your first buffer, normally that would be a pH 7, and place the probe in fully submerging it. You then need to press calibrate. And it will guide you there that your first buffer should be pH 7. Wait for the numbers to settle down. And then press calibrate again. You'll then need to do a slope. So that will either be a pH 4 or a pH 10. So follow the same procedure. Removing the probe from the previous sample. Rinse it thoroughly. Then dry it with paper towel. And place the probe into your new sample, giving it a little mix and wait for the readings to settle. Okay, so when you're taking a sample, then you'll follow the same procedure. So it's okay, so just take the probe, rinse it off with the ionized water thoroughly. Dry it on a piece of paper towel, fully submerge the probe in your sample. And then wait for the numbers to settle. You don't have to press anything else at that point and record the value.